SUV. I'm here at the Allen Iverson Round Ball Classic, catching up with PJ Washington, a big blue nation, Kentucky commit. And then we got Gary Trent Jr. You know how we coming, man. Here comes Duke. Also known as GT2.0, a Duke guy you've seen on SUV TV several times. I was just joking with, guy, with these guys. I'm not sure they've seen their houses within the past three, four weeks. Every time we look up, they're at an all-star game. Fellas, how has this controlled chaos been with all of the games you guys have been able to be a part of? Uh, it's just been a blessing getting to uh, play with all these great players, getting to showcase our talent on the national level in front of all these people, and I'm just blessed to be here. GT. Same thing. I'm going to piggyback on what he said. It's like we said, this is everything we work for. We, we work for these opportunities to sh showcase our games and be invited to these prestigious events, and now that we're here, we got to show why we should be here. Yes, sir. That's something you guys have no problem doing. So this is Allen Iverson's inaugural signature event. Talk about the difference in actually uh, being able to interact with AI, but also be a part of the first ever classic, man. Oh, it's great to be here. I mean, it's a lot of great players, and I feel like it's great because AI has been around uh, talking to us, just boosting us up on the court, and just make us want to work harder and uh, prove to him that we can play. GT. Exactly what you said. At all the events we had, there was not really NBA players around or a legend in a sense as in Allen Iverson. So when he's here, saying little things like good shot or good move boy like that, it's kind of motivating. So, you know, just continue to push hard and work harder, that's all. Yes, sir. Now let's talk about your favorite AI moment. I know we've talked about the Tyron Lou step over. We talked about when he went at MJ. Uh, he had Antonio Daniels screaming at his teammates. What, what's your favorite AI moment, PJ? Uh, probably when he went at MJ. I feel like that uh, showed that he had heart and uh, showed that he was not scared of him and uh, basically just boosted his career. Now, Gary, before I ask you your favorite AI moment, I remember when we called up at McDonald's All-American, you said anything Drake is what you ride with, yeah. right? So give me the Drake line on, uh, on AI and MJ. Give me that line. Give me that line. Just, just think of a Drake line that talks about AI and Michael Jordan. I know a line that talk about MJ, but I don't know a line that talk about AI too. All right, give me the give me the MJ line. Huh? Give me the MJ line. Better way like two, three. You know what I'm okay. Let me remember the line. I believe it is. You make you make friends with your idols. Let me think. Do you do, do you know what I'm talking about, Savion? No, hey, I'm, I'm about to pull this one, GT. Okay, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I'm trying to think. Hey, Quade, it's a line I'm thinking of, man. It's a Drake, it's a Drake line I'm thinking of where he says, he's talking about AI and Michael Jordan. And he says, no, it's, a, it's, it's something, no, it's something else he said with AI. He said something about being friends with your idols. You're going against M. You're going against no, no, no. You're going against MJ. <laughs> you're going against MJ, but you got to AI him for your survival. I'm, I'm telling you, no, that, no, that's not common, fellas. No. But back to my favorite AI moment is when he was stepping over Ty, Tyron Lue. You know what I'm saying? That's that's uh, one of the coldest moments in NBA history. That is, man. Play because because Lou was playing playoff defense on him that day, and it was a the he prime got, example. National TV from all them people got stepped over. Prime example of good defense, better offense, fellas. Okay, now let's talk uh, the element that you guys have uh, can experience here, and that's being able to play and work with your fathers here, there, and PJ Washington uh, Senior, as well as Gary Trent Senior. Talk about that element, man. How, how cool is it to be able to not only have something you love in basketball, but being able to share it with one of your loved ones? Uh, it's great. I mean, my dad been coaching me all year, and uh, it's just great having him here before I go off to college because. I feel like he's hard on me than all of my other coaches, and he wants me to succeed. And uh, he's a really a team guy, and he always wants to win. So I feel, I feel like that he's embedded that to me as a young kid, and uh, I just those are like my morals now. And he's responsible for your pedigree as well, as well, Junior. Man, talk about your pops, man. Yeah, it's great. He's a big influence on my life. He's been with me. We've been working since day one. It's good to have both of them, both our fathers here to coach. They've been around the game for a long time now, so they know what they're talking about. So we just sit there and listen and soak up all the knowledge we can. Yes, sir. So I'm going to ask you this question. If and when did you beat your father in, in, uh, in hoop the first time? My dad, my dad is a hacker, but every time we play one-on-one -on -one and I'm beating him, he'll fake an injury. And then like two minutes later, he'll go play somebody else one-on-one. -on -one. So he'll never say, he'll never be able to say that uh, he can ever beat me one-on-one. -on -one. Never going to happen. Never gonna happen. Never gonna be able to... First time I beat my dad? Yeah. Oh, first time I beat my dad, we was going to 10. I was in sixth grade. And... I beat him 10, 10 to 2. 
And was that one of those, I'm better than you wins, or was that, was that one of them, I'm trying to give my son some confidence, so I'm going to let him get this one? Did, 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 you, did you see four? No, it's been the same since. Got you. Since that, yeah. Ooh. Got you, most definitely. So now, fellas, we're going we're gonna to play this game, man. We're going to talk NBA 2K. I want you to give me. That, that, that's a sensitive subject. <laughs> sensitive subject. Because our last couple, uh, our last couple con- problems we had in uh-huh. the past with. I did my thing and somebody left, you know, disappointed. Now, now it wasn't a 20. We're not talking 20 balls no, no, here or no, no, nothing. No, we are. No, we're uh, not. 20 ball, you don't gas. You going to ride for the camera? Oh, not. Had Jordan Brand I W. We was at the McDonald's All American game. No. He no, had the Warriors. Oh! And I had the Wizards. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Last game we just had. Yeah. We cold enough. We feel like we good enough in 2K. We just hit random. So we play with random teams. I got the Spurs. Yeah. Who, did you, who did I smack again? Let's just know Kawhi Leonard, 50 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. So a 20 ball off of a random. I, I'm sure y'all are going to avenge that at some point in time. At he the ain't the only one. Kevin Knox, what's up? <laughs> so shout out to Kevin Knox there. So let's talk this game. So, PJ, I want you to go first. You're an NBA 2K creative player. I want you to give me your rating. First off, we're going to go dunk. Then we're going to go two-pointer, then we're going to go three-pointer, then we're going to go strength, speed, and overall. So uh, give me your, uh, so first off, first off, let's go with the, let's go with the dunk rating. Contact dunk by the 95. Uh, two-pointer, two-pointer. I said 95, I said 95, I said 95. My uh, mid-range probably, I say 80, probably 80. Three-point, three-point, uh, no, three points probably 75. like. No, I say 82. I say 80. 80. I'm 35 percent. What you talking about? You would. I forgot. You would. You would. I hurry up. What else? What else? Uh, let's do uh, strength, speed, and then overall. Oh, strength 100, speed 80, overall 90, and uh, what else? What else? Cool. Vertical. Uh, Vertical cool. 85. All right, that's a bet. So let, let's go to GT 2.0, man. We're going to start off with uh, dunk, your dunk rate. Dunk, people don't really jump with me, but I'm going to go about 85, 85 overall. Then what else? So dunk, uh, two-pointer. Two-pointer? Oh, mid-range and all that? Yeah. 95. Yeah, we've seen the mid-range. Three-pointer? Yes. I get a three-pointer about a 93. Okay. Uh, strength? Oh, 95. Speed? 92. <laughs> Overall. Overall. Well, no, I say about a 90. 93 overall, James Harden. You know, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a bet. Well, hey, it's been a pleasure catching up with PJ Washington 2.0 and Gary Trent 2.0. We'll James be back. With young Kobe and T Mac. <laughs> oh, not the, not the oh, deli. Brandon, <laughs> not the. Brandon, Jenny, Hey, we'll be back with more Iverson Classic. Thanks for watching SUV TV.